Because whenever people say this, they always only one sentence that Jesus said, go and sin no more. So it is not that you are forgiveness for whoring and there is nothing. It's predicated for Jesus' forgiveness starts and then afterwards you are still required to better yourself as a person. In fact, afterwards, we know exactly what Mary Magdalene does. She stopped pouring her days out. She becomes people who support Jesus and becomes one of the most influential female in the This is a model that we are supporting. That the individual transformation is shown by the abandonment of sinful actions. Members of the house. But joking aside, second, they also are talking about the idea of uh, we cannot achieve salvation because people are not uh, in that order because people are inherently imperfect. Members of the house, there are th uh, there are three three possible reasons, uh, three possible responses how religion can accommodate this. The first possible response is the notion of mercy from God. You can transform before even before transform because you are already forgiven, but then God demands you that you change. Idea of Mary Magdalene. In Islam, for example, your mistakes are outweighed by your good deeds on the day of judgment. There is also another approach available also under this model. In Christianity, uh, in some uh, branches of Christianity, there is purgatory in which your eternal soul have to repent in the eternal uh, uh, in the eternal system. In fact, actually, actually I find the idea of uh, purgatory here actually is one of the most important thing and most relevant point in this debate. Because religion have access to supernatural and superworldly benefits and demands, and therefore, when you have the supernatural benefits, this kind of supernatural benefits underlies the moral system of religion. And why do we think this is very important? We we think it is very important to understand that if a person wants to choose between various kinds of beliefs you can have. If you want to deal with social transformation like what they want, why do you want to have religion? Communism is better, right? Or socialism. Or social democracy. Just takes the government directly. Why don't they talking about political uh, why don't they talking about the supernatural powers? So religion cannot compete on that kind of area. If you want to choose religion, it should be because of supernatural transformation rather than uh, 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 transformation based on natural change in society. And how does this approach of spiritual transformation actually help us in our society, uh, in, in, in this model? Because then, even though you are imperfect, even though you are unable to deal with that, you, you cannot be certain about the rewards in this world, you can be certain of the reward in the next. So even if we ask you to give superhuman effort, you are rewarded yeah. in the future in the world. And that is where we can guarantee, precisely because the world right now is sinful. Good people die miserably, bad people prosper, members of the house. If you go with government, so if you go with changing government, if you go with communism, this kind of problems that still exist. But if you are religious, then you believe that even though you do good deed, then that's acceptable. Even if you're not rewarded here, you're rewarded with heaven. In comparison, in ideal with worldly temptation, you change the world anyway. So you get the same value and the same of religion. Do you agree that if people do good things because they want to go to heaven, that's sinful? No, I don't think it's sinful. I don't think it's sinful. I don't think Islam thinks it's sinful. I don't think. I don't think uh, that the idea that you have to decide something for uh, uh, decide for something is better. You become a more morally excellent individual if you do so. But it is not wrong for you to decide reward for them. And moreover, this is a very uh, good question by by Kant. Why do people bother wanting to be moral? The reason why we, 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 people want to bother, bother with being moral is that finally, somehow, happiness and your moral, moral behavior coincides, members of the house. If somebody, if everybody in the world believes that if you do the good things, you will, will be miserable, everybody will be immoral. Only when there is ultimate justification is that sometime in the future that all this your good deed is going to lead you into happiness. Only then is morally justified and rational towards individual members of the house. Morality is not independently justified, actually. Secondly, yeah. uh, secondly, uh, this is why a, a notion of it, a notion of uh, having belief in uh, in sinful action based on sinful action is is more connected towards the idea uh, more connected than what presentation. Secondly, also very importantly. Actually, there are a lot of things that are very attractive from their model, right? We talk about social transformations and so on, but it is important that we understand this motion. That the religion is not just about sin, right? Religion is not about sin. There are also godly community, for example. 
Therefore, if you want to change the society in order for Satan to remove that patient, reduce this harm of that patient, it is not proper to put it in sin. Rather, you put this on the idea of righteousness and justice. Members of God. So what you do is you are committed to changing the world, of creating a good family, of creating a good society, of creating a good religious community, but you still retain the notion of right or wrong. Why? Because the notion of right and wrong has to do with you. Yeah. While the national society has to do with the political structure of that community. Members of God. So therefore, our model accommodates what they have. Because we can say social transformation is not related to sin. And moreover, yeah. it's accommodates better because it is actually more true to the exact notion of moral responsibility. You do not, as even us, you do not, not put murderers in jail because he's tempted by economic circumstances. You put them in jail and then transform the society so that economic necessity necessary for that is not longer there. And this is the more mature approach, not excusing wrong, but reducing circumstances as a part of statistics, rather than a part of individual mess. Your soul belongs to you, members of those. And this is the proper realm of sin. By making the proper realm of sin worldly temptation, this week you conflate the political, the social, and the individual. And this is actually harmful towards the moral development of every individual because then you blame everything to the process of social sublimation towards the Satan. And this is exactly what is misunderstood from the argument made by the government and closing government by the opposition bench. It's not necessarily true that there is, of course, uh, bad things happen with each religious approach. It's true. But when you sublimate your kind of behavior towards a certain notion that there is a great Satan in the sky, you also sublimate the idea of the, good, uh, the goodness of badness towards the goodness of badness of this power in the sky. This is why in religious you commit atrocities because the final goal is the establishment of the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> This is why the same people who fought for the crusades for the, for the defense of the Holy Land, defending women and children, and rapes women and children on the way to the defending of women and children, precisely because what they do not believe that individual actions matter. What they believe is the great cause in which they are fighting. This is why sublimation like the human doing is bad. We should make a clear distinction between what is responsible of person, responsible of religion, and social society. And that can only be done if sin remains personal and based on the affirmative concept. Thank you very much.